Big wins coming by way of knockout. 22 years of age scaling, 62.9 kilograms, white trunks with black trim. With his father in the corner and Bridge Said, would you welcome Fijian dual champion, Zulfika, Zulfika, Joy Ali, Ali. And across the ring, occupying the red corner, but now the champ camp, Body Punch City, Keith Ellis Jr. Senior, with Wayne Stevens in the corner. The man, the mystery man of many colours, tonight turning out in crimson red. Ladies and gentlemen, 13 fights, 11 wins, two losses, nine big wins coming by way of knockout. The OBA lightweight champion, 22 years of age from Cranman, with the full support of the thoroughbred racing industry, the Rolls Royce in red, Lincoln Stewart. Stewart. At the scales last night, 64 kilograms. 10 rounds of boxing. Here we go. Jim Bolden, Joy, come to center ring. Okay, boys, welcome to the centre ring for 10 rounds of boxing. I've spoken to both of you in the dressing room, you know what I expect. Good, clean fight, obey my instructions at all times. In case of a knockdown, neutral corner here, the one behind me. Any, any questions for you? Two seconds? Keith? Okay, let's get it on. Well, what an enormous bout this is going to be, gentlemen. Lincoln Stewart uh, making a uh, virtually another comeback, really, isn't it? Um, uh, to yes. boxing after a slight layoff. Went to South Africa, I think, to do some scuba diving or something. And uh, he's in the red trunks there fighting this magnificent Fijian champion, Zulfi Kar Joy Ali, who has an enormous record out of those 17 wins, Gus, 14 KO, so he must be a heavy hitter. Yes, he's a southpaw, so it's going to give him a little problem here to start with. Because yes. uh, those southpaw fighters can shake you around a little bit if you haven't boxed him for a bit. And if he was down there with those red hair in Africa, it just scared all the sharks away, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> just about. You'd think so. Boy, oh boy, does. Uh, 
Bizarre Lee looked to be uh, absolutely uh, chiselled out of stone. That body is in enormous physical condition. It does look a little bit smaller, to tell you the truth. And, uh, yeah. No uh, excess fat around the rib cage or the uh, chest region arms. It's just all muscle. Uh, uh, Gus and Julian. Julian, uh, sorry, Brian. Brian I've got with Brian, me now. Yeah, we've got Brian Butler with us here at ringside. Uh, and now Julian Holland helping uh, people in the uh, next fight. They're coming up the main event. Hoping that Matthew Pauly can. And uh, Brian, welcome to ringside. Yeah, thanks, Stephen. Uh, yeah, he's a uh, rather large, lightweight, uh, soul figure. Um, he actually um, had a win over Dean McGrath on, on points about 18 months ago Ooh. at, uh, at light middleweight. Uh, Lincoln Stewart charging into the uh, ring there, but it's all for Carr out. That's managed to get him off balance there. And uh, now Jim Boland has a word to Ali. I don't know what for, Gus. I didn't actually see it because see it. Uh, uh, Lincoln stumbled across, mm. and I think you've got to be watching very careful what he's doing there. He stumbled across and he got involved in, in something over that, that, part, that, that type of situation. Yeah. It's a boxing match, not a wrestling match. Nobody holds allowed. Yeah, I, you couldn't uh, see what the transpired there once they blocked our view, but the, there it was, you see. Yeah. And, of course, it's a good thing that Lincoln's out of the red corner, too. We can't get him mixed up, can we? <laughs> no, that's Brian? right, Gus, yeah. He's all red tonight. <laughs> Is he ever? Now, the dyed red hair, red trunks, emblazoned with the, the re requisite advertising. And uh, as Oliver Ali, he's working hard early in the fight yeah. there on uh, Stewart. Working in all but the left hand to whip around the neck of uh, Lincoln Stewart. And Jim Boland might have a word to him about that, I'd say. And he is now. I think Stewart has to be a little bit careful. He's rushing this guy a little bit too much. Rushing right in there. And the southpaw has a good record. has a good punch record. And he could click him coming in. Yes, that's a good point. Good body shot by Lincoln there. Another one. Well, he's Two working the ribs. Sounds like the sound of it, like he's hitting yeah. an oak drum. It's so tight there for, uh, for Ali. Now he come in with, with his head there. Mm. Ali come in with his head there. He's going to have to watch that. And his shoulder. Jimmy's going to say something right now, I think. Pretty soon he'll have to, because coming in with his head and shoulder could be dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. That uh, We saw that earlier on in the night to Nolan uh, and co in the earlier bouts. Now you see that, how he yeah. rushed in? He, he's going to get caught. The southpaw's going to catch him rushing in. He's going to get hurt. A little bit of an experience there, maybe, Sean Lincoln. Uh, yeah. He's a little bit pepped up because uh, there has been a uh, time between fights for Lincoln. Well, that's it. He's probably trying to make a big impression, too. He is. Coming back, you know. He's stable, too. Gus in the Keith Ellis and Body Punch City Champ Camp. Well, this is Keith in there. He's got something to, to help him out and do the right thing because uh, Keith is a good trainer. And as uh, he's had um, 55 champions. He needs four more champions to get over Earn McQuillan's record. He needs four more. He's got, isn't that fantastic? What 55 a, Australian record. and yeah. Commonwealth champions. Four, yeah. four less than Earn McQuillan. Done a lot to keep boxing going over the last 20 years. Of course. And in <laughs> his time, when McQuillan was out, there's a hell of a lot of boxing going on. A hell of a lot more than now. Yeah. For him to get that kind of record is fantastic. It's, it's, it's a superb uh, record. And. Uh, now that uh, adds Lincoln Stewart to the camp, but uh, it's more artillery. Yeah. Uh, because he is uh, a clever boxer, Lincoln Stewart. Uh, he's um, capable of, uh, of uh, scaling the heights in boxing. Got a good um, uh, system and uh, knows what he's doing. He's up against a top flight opponent here tonight, though, in um, Zolfakar Joy Ali in a comeback type fight. That's an enormous task. And. Uh, just saw something though, Ali. Those two punches you thrown were around the corner, weren't they? They were. Both yep. of them. Nothing straight about them. No, he hooks that left hand. He no. wings it, I would say. And, and Lincoln can oh, keep his keep his left hook going over that lead right of Ali and come with right hand straight into the body. He tried it there, too far away. He's lunging. He's lunging with it. Yeah. Although he lifted oh. Ali's uh, left leg there with that body shot. Starting to see where uh, Ali's got his KOs from. He's definitely showing some power. Yeah. Yes. Strong man. Give me one about the head. And the boy's getting up into another tangle here, and now Lincoln Stewart's got the arms out, and uh, Zolfa Kerr had the, the head of Stewart cupped in his hands there. Throw their right hand, right? Straight into the body. Come on, let's see how it works. Ooh, heavy punching from Zolfakar, combinations to the body. Some caught the arms. I think uh, Fair Fielden caught the arms, even though he's, he's taking the initiative with those punches. Yeah. Right. He's getting under 
the lunges of uh, 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 Lincoln, which don't look that sharp. Right? No, you're right there. You go. Well, there you go. He just yeah. let some go there. Yeah, and then the there was a little bit low, and Zolfa Car complained about it. Yeah. Uh, to uh, referee Boland, uh, nothing done about it there. I think uh, Lincoln yeah, probably say yes. He does now. Warning. Uh, probably suffering a bit of ring rust at the moment, Lincoln. Uh, he's been out of it for a while, I think. I don't know exactly how long he's been out, but it looks like he's uh, not got his timing right right now. Did. I'll check with Keith uh, during the round break and see how long he, he has been he out. Yeah. He fought here last month against oh. the. Um, the I think last month was that his first fight coming back, was it? From because he did have that layoff a year and a half, I think. That's correct here in last um, month he fought here. Yeah, I was here. What, what happened? He stopped the tie in uh, was it the first or second uh, round. First round. No, 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 was it the first round. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Yeah. That, 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 this is still a comeback. Round. That's right. Yeah. So this is virtually get rid of any rust. Yeah. 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 I remember that now. He stopped in one round. He didn't have colored hair. He wasn't there long <laughs> enough to let it. In, in, let in, uh, was thing. To impress us. So those, uh, those fights don't do anybody any good. No, that's right. But to this one, Will, that's for sure, because oh, yeah. uh, this boy is, uh, he's classy, this Fijian. He is to beat. Comes in hard there, uh, Stewart, but uh, Zolfa Carr had a, a left of the body working for him. Well, Stewart is, is uh, winning with his body punches so far. Right. Yeah, and Boland calls on a break, the bell goes. Right. Yeah, well, I, I had to give... Uh, the first round and the second round, Lincoln Stewart, by a point, who made that uh, that round nine to, uh, to ten, because I think I think uh, Stewart's body punches won the round for him, basically. Yeah, threw some not nice, especially with the left hand. Yes, he... just getting more applause than the fighters, gents. Yes. Um, how do you how do you describe something like that? <laughs> I think it's, I think we'll bit to back to the fight, huh? <laughs> yep. Yeah. This um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. He's he's uh, definitely come to fight. Uh, yeah. Oh well, yes, sure. He's um, he's, he's a well-conditioned fighter. And I was going to say it's one of the fittest I've seen coming out of Fiji that I've seen for a while, a long time. Yeah, he's very fit. Had the Fijian heavyweight out here about four or five years ago. Um, yeah. But uh, this bloke is, um, um, oh, gee whiz, from percentage balance, 50% to fit Ooh. up. Ooh. Tell you what, he got that left home very solidly there. Lincoln Stewart Nothing's now. Nothing's great about it, though, Gus. He wings it in that left hand, yeah. and that's where he's getting all his power off the back foot. And that working away to the ribcage there. Uh, now, well, sorry, to the midriff region was Lincoln, but they're getting tangled up, and now he's got the hands out again saying, I can't move, and Jim Boland pushes them off. Has he been playing football in his off time? He keeps lifting his hand up every time he gets in there. He's going to say it's very much a sort of a holding the ball manoeuvre, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Lincoln it, complaining. Mean. I think Lincoln may have complained then about a low punch, but uh, no, nothing under Ward. Flips the... Uh, oh, whoa, and Ali didn't wait. Came straight back in after the fighters yeah. separated. And tried very hard to uh, get a... Uh, a solid punch in there. He did uh, hit uh, Lincoln with a body punch. But uh, been a little scrappy at times. Uh, yeah, the boys uh, haven't been very fluid yet. Not as needed, we'd like to see it. But it can often be with the South Pole South and Rock, the yeah. Rocks, it, it uh, often makes for an awful fight. Oh, comes in hard again with that uh, right into the midsection and uh, then gets tangled up with Lincoln. Lincoln again, uh, if, uh, uh, Ali keeps hanging onto the head. He's going to take a point off him. He does it again. That is a, a good move by the uh, referee because he was body shots. Lincoln. Probably, yeah. Beautiful body He's shots there. Slow this guy down. Yeah, that will slow him up. Lincoln now uh, looking very aggressive, and uh, the Lincoln see what we know. Trying to work away at the body of uh, Ali. He's not doing anything except uh, he's uh, again oh, hanging on to uh, Lincoln Stewart's head, They're cupping it in his gloves. He does. Right. It's like putting a bridle on a horse, Gus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, well, Lincoln does work with horses. He, he works with horses at Cranbrook. So, uh, so I don't know another one of our uh, good body shot. Horse-minded boxes there. Eh? That's right. Yeah, he's that, uh, now, uh, what's he going to do? He's going to take a point off him. Taken off. And he's had enough, uh, Jim, uh, of uh, Ali. In fact, they grabbed Ali and brought him back around. And uh, 
the neutral corner and uh, he got fed up with him hanging on to Lincoln Stewart's head. Jimmy wasn't pleased. Into her arms. Right, and Lincoln right. Stewart again has got the arms out um, and uh, Bowler has a word to Stewart about the head coming in uh, too hard and low into Ali then. The heads are again there. They've got a clash again there. I think they're close. Standing out of the orthodox stance just about now, Ali. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a point off for Ali. Well, you had to, you had to expect that. He was warned by the referee and he refused to take the warning. And back to Sartre again, but it looks like... Uh, looks like Lincoln almost shaped up there to Sartre at the moment. Lincoln again is uh, complaining. Uh, about the head grabbing of uh, Ali. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, Jim Bolden handles that uh, manoeuvre from now on because he set the precedent, now he's taking a point off. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know that. If, uh, if that guy's going to worry him too much, though, to tell you the truth. I guess I, I gave that round to Lincoln again. Yeah. That's a 10 9 round. He's just making more effort to do the work. Yeah, it would have been, have to probably, you don't have to get the point taken off for the loss, Brian, so that would oh, make it a 10 9 round. round. That's correct, yeah. Well, I, I take the point and leave it there until I total, and I take the point. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's this? Something's happening here. They call the referee over to uh, Ali's corner. Uh, I wonder if they want to go on. It oh. doesn't, doesn't look good. It's a dispute here, is it? It's off. That's it. He's it's off. withdrawing. What? He's out of it. I wonder... Oh, now it's an injury. What's an injury? injury? He's tapping his leg. Well, sometimes uh, these guys get hit on the chin. Injury. They get hit on the chin and their legs hurt, you know? That happens. This is what's happened here. I think uh, Desire has, uh, has stepped in. Well, he's not happy, Ali. He didn't react well to Lincoln Stewart's uh, pat on the back there and um, his thanks for the bout. And uh, for some reason, in fact, he, um, he's tapping the upper part of his uh, right leg, I'd say. He's got that leg stretched well, out. It's a muscle. It's a thigh muscle or um, a front leg muscle at the top of the leg there that the trainers are feeling. But see, how, how would you know, Gus? Stretch well, it. you see, I don't... Uh, I, I worry about things like that. I, I don't want to take anything away from the kid because it takes enough courage to get in there. But sometimes the guys fight away from home and uh, they get hurt a bit and they think, well, I'm not going to win anyway, you know. Yeah. And I'm not saying he's through it, but sometimes they're... Injuries are exaggerated. Crowd's not happy. They're showing their displeasure. Well, one thing about it, we get home a little earlier. <laughs> that, that's correct. Before tomorrow. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, your winner, when referee Jim Boland, acting on advice from uh, the blue corner, Joy Ali, withdrew. Your winner, the Rolls Royce, the Crimson Clover, Lincoln Stewart. And a champ, Julian Holland, to present Lincoln, a stable mate of sorts. Okay, Lincoln, don't go away, Julian. Lincoln, come across. It was a pretty dangerous fight while it lasted there, Lincoln. Yeah, it was a tough fight. He was very awkward. Um, I didn't know he was a southpaw until we got in the ring tonight. Um, what can I say? All I do is try to give everyone here a good fight. Try my heart out. I hope that everyone will come see me next time. It might be a better show. I think maybe uh, my opponent tonight had a cramp in his heart. <laughs> Lincoln, uh, a chance of a big fight coming up in Adelaide on September 14th. Come this way, September 14, maybe, in the win for you, for uh, Austin Taylor and Kevin Dynan in Adelaide. Uh, yeah, off to Adelaide in two weeks. Um, hopefully get a few more rounds in there. Should be a good fight. I always train for a hard fight. With Keith in my corner, I can't go wrong. Well, I've got a chance. I'd just like to thank all my family and friends for coming down tonight. Keith, all my corner men. Um, Sally Wynn's family, my family, the Smith family, Stuart's. Uh, all my sponsors, Ray White Real Estate, have been with me for about six years. Um, shopping centre, cleaning services. Kilsarth uh, Bargain Centre, Romano Tiles, Brad Stewart's fencing. Thank you, everyone. Keith Ellis, come across. Lincoln Stewart, an uncrowned national champion.
Yeah, it was a little bit disappointing tonight, but that's the way it goes. I think it was ready to fight. It was very awkward, and when the did, fight did get going, he grabbed. And uh, we're off to Adelaide in two weeks. I'll just use the rest of the year to get him fit and get him sharp, and uh, we'll be talking to Murray and get a couple of big things next year. OK, Keith Ellis and Lincoln Stewart. A big round of applause for a man who wants a rematch down the track, Joy Ali. Joy Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, two weeks ago tonight at Royal Randwick race, race Course, only a handful of Victorian loyalists, Barry Michael Bryan and David Membry, Mary Thompson, Greg Grogan, Lionel Rose, said on national cable television, the Victorian fighter Julian Holland will beat the Bull Eye Blaster Shannon Taylor. And he did. How about three cheers for Julian Holland? And then, and then, and then. Okay, not only is Julian the welterweight champion of Australia, he retained that title. He is now the Commonwealth champion and the number one contender for the WBU World Boxing Union Welterweight Championship of the World. Welcome back to Melbourne and congratulations, Julian. Thanks, Howard. And uh, I think I can remember the last time I fought here that I promised the crowd that I'd bring back the Commonwealth title. And uh, we went to Sydney, we were big time underdogs. Uh, if I had known I was 10 to 1, I would have put, put a bit on it myself. But uh, 10 to 1 underdogs, and uh, we knocked the big mouth out. Great to see everyone out here again supporting the fights here at uh, the Fort Knox, um, supporting Murray Thompson. Um, the Fighters Factory is awesome. They've stuck behind me since I've, been, I've come down from Queensland, and now the Victorian crowd, they're really getting behind me. And uh, we want to we want to stage some big fights in Victoria and, and get it going and get, get the boxing just kicking back in Victoria. Make Victoria the best in Australia like it was yesterday. Julian Holland, dual champion, number one contender, and also now ranked number 10 in the World Boxing Council, number nine in the International Boxing Federation. Okay, a clean cut young man, a great face of Australian boxing. We'll be back with the main event.